<laughs> nice. Dead gamer here. Uh, that's great, baby. She's pretty rad. She misses me. I just got home from work, so she's all over me right now. She's just uh, climbing all over me going, yay, dad's home. Anyhow, creepy cat guy. So, I have great news today. Um, and that's why I needed to do this right when I got home and didn't want to wait to take a shower or do any of that because <clears throat> this is fantastic news for me. Um, even though I don't play the game yet, which is hilarious. But um, So, I'm just going to ramble a little bit. Um, a, sort of a little back history here. So, uh, I'm very excited about Age of Sigmar. I've been excited about Age of Sigmar. Uh, I've been playing it for a while and um, haven't played it as much lately, but I'm going to be getting back into it in 2018. Um, things are looking better in my life, which is a good thing. And um, uh, But I've also been looking at other things. Now, when Warhammer Silver Tower, Warhammer Quest Silver Tower came out, there was, um, I definitely was all over it because it had Zangor in it, and uh, I'm a Beastman player, so that was an an obvious buy for me, and uh, so I went out and bought a bunch of, co well not a bunch, I bought like three copies of, of the game, uh, sold all the characters, um, something I like to do, I'll just buy something when it comes out right in the beginning, and just offload the stuff I don't want because that's when it's hot. Or the most hot, the hottest, I guess is the real word for it. So, um, you know, sold the uh, the little griff hounds with the dude, and then um, I remember the the Sigmar. I don't want to call them Sigmarines because they're not the Stormcast guys. <clears throat> the one Stormcast dude, um, he was getting like eighteen bucks, I think it was at the time. And I'm not one of those guys, I already talked about this before in another video, where I don't buy stuff to to resell it, but I do buy stuff that comes with other stuff that I don't want, and I'll resell that to lower the cost on my end for the stuff I do want. So I was picking up Silver Towers. Um, I remember I bought the first game, and then three or four months went by, and I got my Zangor assembled, eventually because that's what I really bought the game for were the Zangors and um, then uh, and I was selling those pieces and then bought another game and actually I think I bought two because I sold a few I think I sold actually I bought three I think it was three it had to have been three I had to look at my my eBay history but I was popping off a lot of the character models for you know a good amount of money 15 to 20 dollars a piece and um, to just down you know, offset the cost of the game, and uh, and just to, because those were expensive Zangor if you're just buying a hundred and something dollar game for a couple of little blue dudes. But um, oh, and the Brimstone Horrors, those were those were pretty rad too. Um, I've never been a fan though of the plastic pink and plastic blue horrors. I am still a fan of the mid two thousand um, era demons where it's the pink horror with the blue horror ripping out of his mouth. Um, I still to this day think those are hands down the best. Um, the only problem with those, I guess, is that they're always pink and blue horrors. You can't um, divide them up because they're always ripping out of each other, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, so I guess that presents a little bit of a problem. Um, I haven't actually painted any of those, so I don't know if there's any of the models that are after they've ripped out, but I'm pretty sure they're all either bulging out, like their mouths are closed, but they have bulges like the things are inside of them. Uh, but I guess you could use those as brimstones. But, uh, yeah, I keep looking up here because that's where my catalogs are, and I'm super tempted to just grab it, bring it down, and show you the picture of it. But that's irrelevant right now. That's not what this video is about. Um... But, so yeah, Silver Tower came out, and I originally bought it for the Zangor models because I was playing Beastmen at the time, and I was super excited about having an additional unit of Beastmen to play in my, um, my, uh, Bray Herds, I think is what they're called. I just call them Beastmen Army. But, um, so I was super stoked about that, but I never really paid much attention to Silver Tower, and I didn't do that because, um, 
I'm a huge fan of Advanced Hero, uh, Advanced Hero Quest, and uh, that's probably my go-to dungeon crawl game out of all of them. Out of uh, the standard Hero Quest, you've got Advanced Hero Quest, you've got Warhammer Quest from the '90s. Um, then you have obviously Warhammer Quest Silver Tower, and now Warhammer Quest Shadows over Hammerhall. Uh, I have not played either of those games yet, though. Uh, the two new versions. But uh, I want to try it out. But what I did was when Silver Tower came out, I was more interested in the miniatures than the game itself. The The board pieces to me were a little... You know, I really... I was one of the advocates that wanted to have Warhammer Quest come back. Uh, mainly because I wanted more dungeon tiles. Um, those were the thing, you know, for me. And, um, you know, I wanted to do another dungeon crawl game. And they kind of put out a Zinch Tower Crawl game, which is fine. You know, it's got the rules for basically uh, tile play, or uh, yeah, tile play, and and you could put that in anything. You don't need to use, uh, you know, the boards that they have. And they were, it was just for me, it was sensory overload. <laughs> the, all the tiles were just, they were tripped out, and I get it. You know, <clears throat> you know, I'm I'm. I'm older now, and I see that, you know, the stuff the kids probably like aren't exactly what I like, and that's kind of weird saying that, because I always thought that I was always going to be that kid, but there are definitely, you know, I am definitely a child of the 80s and 90s, more so the 80s than the 90s, but, um, you know, to me, it's I still think of Conan and Beastmaster and all that stuff, and uh, dungeon crawls to me are, are, are you know dungeon crawls they're not like floating silver tower crawls because that's just kind of weird so um i had a little bit of a disinterest if that's even a word I'm, i make words up a lot but i think you get the point if disinterest is not a word i think you understand what disinterest is uh, i'll look that up too later on google to see if i'm even remotely close to right but um yeah i was disinterested in uh crawling around in a giant floating zinch silver tower with crazy you know floors and it was just too too much it was sensory overload i mean that's the perfect word i think for it and um so i didn't really pay any attention to anything else except the game because i wanted the figures you know um obviously i kept the board game and i kept the rules and i kept all that because i was like well you know i can always make my own tiles that look just like a dungeon and you know, make it work for me, for my aesthetic, um, but just use those figures. And, um, but, you know, that's way low on the priority list. Uh, what was on my priority list at the time was getting Zangor on the table to try to help me out beat my buddy's Lizardmen, because Lizardmen cheat. And I needed to find something better than a couple of uh, Bray Shaman that are trying to summon monsters to, to help me out. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, I was like, oh, yeah, these guys are cool. There's a Grey Baby again. She's just all about exploring right now. But um, do you guys want to see Grey Baby? Hold on. <clears throat> there she is, the famous Grey Baby. She's old, too. She's getting up there. She's like 15. Grey Baby. No, she's 14, 15. I think she's like that. But anyway, there she goes. So I digress. I saw, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Well, I am tired. Yeah, look at my eyes. They're all red. Too much work. Um, so Silver Tower was... I was happy about it because the game was great. It provided me with miniatures that I wanted. And the ones I didn't, I sold to uh, lower the cost. I already talked about that. But I didn't pay any attention to the game itself. Um, and then they came out with the hero cards. Silver Tower hero cards. Um, and I didn't buy them. I didn't even think about them. I didn't really care. I was just too happy with putting my Zangor together. And then later on, obviously, they came out with the 40k Zangor. And then I bought a couple boxes of those. And then they came out with the AOS Zangor which were like five bucks cheaper, but didn't have the gun and chainsaw, chainsword sprue, which is I didn't need anyway. 
So I guess I kind of got screwed in that. Oh, but you know what? There was a point where I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? I bet they're going to do Brimstone Horrors. And I had I had acquired a ton cuz I loved those models. I was all about I was all about the Zangor and I was all about the Brimstone Horrors. And I remember buying it was the four of them from one of the eBay sellers. Um, I think it was Bits World or one of those guys or the dude there's like two main ones, right? There's the dude that writes across it in blue. I think it's Bits World. And then there's the other guy that does like a green border and then writes across it in green. There's one or both of those. I bought a ton. Like, I probably had 70 Brimstone Horrors. I mean, because I just loved them. I was like, and they were cheap. Um, because there was a point where I think Silver Tower wasn't doing as well as the stores thought. And I was watching them sell between 60 and 80 bucks shipped for the game. And at that point, it was probably a brief three, four month period. Um, but they were going for cheap. And I think I bought one more set after that for like 60 bucks. Uh, it's picked up though again, which is awesome. But at that time, I had bought a bunch of Brimstone Horrors because they were just cheap. The Zinch Codex hadn't come out. I called it a Codex. Horrible person. The Zinch Battle Tome hadn't come out yet. The Disciples of Zinch. Um, so I had a bunch of Brimstone Horrors, and when the Zinch Tome came out, I believe I still haven't read it. I have it, which is probably horrible because I haven't looked at it. I bought it because I wanted the Zangor rules. <laughs> So I could put Zangor in my Beastmen army. And I'm so looking forward, by the way, to Pestigors. Yes! And Cornigors. I got so many Cornigor models. Those are going to be rad, too. Um, but I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have to do, like... Because <clears throat> I don't like mixing. And I know Pestigor and... Well, definitely Cornigor and Zangors, if they were in the same Bray herd, would be beating each other up. So I'd have a problem with fielding that. I think if I fielded them, I would tell my opponent, we're going to make a chart where if they're within a certain amount of inches, if if the, the opposing gore are closer than the enemy, they have to roll on a chart. And on like a, a one or a six, let's make it the two crazy numbers, they, they charge each other instead of the opponent. I think that would be a good rule because... Um, I also talked about this in another video, I think. Um, I just my disinterest of people. Not people. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Of, I can't, I can't find it within myself to combine chaos gods that by nature hate each other. So I have a problem with that. You know, if that's how you do for the tournaments, if that's how you play, then that's what that is. But in my core, as a human being, who loves the, the, the Warhammer lore. Korn hates magic. He would not be on the field with... My eyebrows are tripping me out right now. Um, yeah, he, he would not... I don't know. That's my thing. So, back to Silver Tower. So, uh, I was on a little tangent. Oh yeah, the Brimstone Horrors. Bought a bunch of those. And then when that Codex... Arr, I did it again, sorry. Uh, when the Battle Tome came out, I was like... Bought a or people were starting to pay uh, stupid money. I mean, it was like, I think I was selling four of them for like $15, $20. And I was just, I was like, I got to list these. I love them, but they have to put these out. I mean, there's no way they're not going to put them out. And um, sure enough, I put them all up. I sold every single one of them. And like two or three months later, and maybe two months later, they came out with uh, the blue brimstone box. And then that same bit seller were selling just the brimstones, 10 of them for 20 bucks. And I think I was selling 10 of them for like 40 bucks. So it worked out in my favor because I got back my 60 plus. I think I only bought 60 then. And, um, pocketed some serious cash so but that's what the, this video is not about any of that i'm rambling because i ramble but um what this is about 
is my excitement because today I had to go up to Walnut Creek, which is in California, and uh, for some training. And I went up to Walnut Creek, more specifically Concord, and there's a game store called Black Diamond Games. And past few months since I haven't been playing, I've had time to sort of like pull back and look at everything uh, just because of what I'm de dealing with at home and all that. Um, and I realized I was like, I started looking into things and I was like, whoa, there was the hero cards that Warhammer put out for Silver Tower. And I started looking around and the Games Workshop was sold out. At least the Games Workshop in America was. I think they were still on sale in Europe. But by the time they got to you, they were probably 60 bucks with shipping and everything. And they were going on Amazon for like $55. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. So I started looking on eBay. And a couple sets sold for 35 bucks, But I haven't seen any sets since. And um, then I was like, wow, I missed the boat on this. And I totally want to get them. But I don't really want to spend $60 on these cards. So I checked out a bunch of hobby stores in the, in the area, the Bay Area. And nobody had them. And today, while I was up at training, and well, you know where this story's going. Yeah, this story is going to an awesome place. But um, I'm still going to build up the suspense. So when I was in uh, Walnut Creek slash Concord, I decided to call up the game store, Black Diamond Games. And I was like, hey, Black Diamond Games, you guys have a thing, a little expansion pack called Warhammer Quest Silver Tower Hero Cards. And they're like, let me look in the computer. And then they're like, Boom! So, dude, I am stoked. So, why am I stoked? I'm stoked because, well, first of all, I only paid 25 bucks for them. Plus, California sales tax, it was like, I don't know, 27 something. But, um, you know, I'm just excited because I picked them up and, and then I realized something today, too. This is a little bit later on. I'll talk about what I realized first and then I'll go back to this. So, I'm um, contemplating in the contemplation room obviously and um, I realized I'm addicted I am 100% addicted to, to Games Workshop products um, I just love them I love them and even the things I don't really like I love what they're tethered to because you know there's just something about that world and I'm not trying to say like I don't know. It's, it, let's 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 rewind a little bit. Um, something about the style, the the feel, and you know, I felt this way about fantasy as well. Uh, I just didn't like the the way fantasy played. It wasn't. I wasn't into moving like the bricks and stuff and doing all the like angles and whatever they. I don't even. I couldn't even tell you anything really about fantasy. But they had like it was a very like blocky you know this and my angle is moving into your angle at this angle and that's too much for me i mean i i, I don't care um me personally i don't care um i that's why i love mordheim because it was just like you're pushing people off of buildings you're getting hit by rats with like socks and they're throwing rocks in the socks and they're hitting you in the face and then you fall off a building because you're stupid that's the kind of stuff i like and um yeah i don't like blocks of rats throwing socks of rocks hitting blocks of dudes that aren't falling off of buildings that's just to me stupid go figure but um i still liked the look of it you know i thought for fantasy games were impressive um, just because of how how it looked on the table I just had no interest in playing it that way because I wanted to like break them all off and just let them all run around and beat each other up and you can't do that in that game at least till now because now you can because that's what Age of Sigmar is all about is beating each other up from a distance from a distance okay so who is that Celine Dion or Bette Midler Barbra Streisand? I don't remember. But, um, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I'm addicted to Games Workshop products, and that's just uh, something I've come to terms with. I love 40K. 
stuff. I've always loved 40k stuff. Um, I was always a Gene Steeler cult fan. They brought it back. I'm still a Gene Steeler cult fan. Um, just that whole, you know, I started off with Space Hulk, and I mean that just hit my Alien button because I was a huge fan of the movie Alien and Aliens. Um, but yeah, so I was uh, in the contemplation room. And I realized while I was looking at these cards that uh, I am just in love with the Games Workshop IP, essentially. They're just doing it all right, you know? And, you know, I love the old world. I love the new world or worlds or realms or whatever you want to call it. Um, I love the 40K stuff. And uh, it's just awesome. But today was especially awesome. It is uh, December 21st, so we're coming up on Christmas and I've got my own Christmas present, and it's the Warhammer Quest Silver Tower Hero Cards, and it made me very happy. And that, also, I was like, when I picked these up at the store, I was like, these look a little smaller than the newer uh, Chaos Adversary cards that came out recently, which, if you haven't picked them up, I suggest picking them up, because if they're anything like these, they're going to, for some reason, they're out of print, or they're not making them. I called Games Workshop, I looked on the website, and they're like, we don't have them anymore, game stores don't have them anymore. If you live in Walnut Creek or Concord, I'm sorry, I just bought the last pack at Black Diamond Games. If you work at Black Diamond Games, or you own Black Diamond Games, thank you very much for providing me with the last pack of Warhammer Silver Tower, uh, Warhammer Quest Silver Tower Hero Cards. So, Chaos Adversary Cards, boom, and you're like, whoa, Kirk. I just used my name. Look at that. Those are way bigger than these. And I'm like, yes, they are. So I'm tripping out. Now, right now my um, my box of Silver Towers, my boxes, I should say, are put away. Uh, obviously, I've got a bunch of boxes here. And that's because of the uh, my earlier incident this earlier this year. Um, so everything's essentially stored up. So... I don't know if the adversary cards, like the Zangor cards, are this size in Silver Tower. And that's why they made the format of these this big. And I don't know if the hero cards in Silver Tower were this big. Or I don't know if Shadows Over Hammer Hall cards are this big. And this is Silver Tower cards. But it's considerably bigger. I mean, look at that. I'm putting it right up against itself on the, both the top and the bottom. And that's what you got right there. These are some big old cards. Let's see sideways. Oh, sideways, they overlap a little bit on the... You see it? Wait. Boom. Right there. Overlaps right here. It's hard to look at that and then try to do it with my hand. So, anyhow. Um, yeah, I just made this video because I'm just excited. I'm very excited. Not that I'm going to be playing the game anytime soon. So, you're probably like, well, why are you excited if uh, you're not going to be playing the game anytime soon? Just excited to have them. Because I'm a fanboy, apparently. And I'm very uh, happy that I have these cards now. And there's so many good characters in here. And um, it's just super exciting. And I haven't read through them all yet, but I did read one that's really cool. I want to share it with you guys. It's the um, the Necromancer. And look at the yawn. Oh, I'm tired. The Necromancer was an interesting card because I was looking at it. And he comes with an additional card. The, where is he? Did, did I lose the Necromancer? That'd be hilarious. There he is. Boom. Right here. So the Necromancer... I don't even know if this is legal, but I'm showing you stats. So the Necromancer card... All the cards look like this. They have like four little squares to put dice. A little circle with rules and then other rules and then rules here. But the Necromancer has a spell where he can summon skeletons and then there's a skeleton oh, that's the back card there's a skeleton card and it's just the stats for the skeleton and then he can cast this basically this thing where he makes them do things but if he doesn't if he just summons the skeleton and at the end of the turn I, like I said I haven't played this game so I don't know how it works exactly but at the end of the turn if he doesn't cast the second thing that allows the skeleton to do something you roll on a chart and he does like a what they call mindless instinct table. And he either crumbles back to the ground. So basically the necromancer rises him up and then he just kind of can't hold it and falls apart. 
or he remains motionless like he rises to the ground and he's just kind of ready for whatever or he lurches into action which is pretty cool and he actually basically does what you'd have to cast on him to make him do so you can summon a skeleton and then you can summon the skeleton to attack or cast a spell to have him attack or you can summon the skeleton and hope you roll high on the chart and then the skeleton attacks on his own so it's kind of a neat little thing so but anyway there's a ton of cards I mean there I haven't even counted how many cards are in here I don't even think this says 43 43 cards that's awesome so uh, we got 43 cards now um, and that's super exciting so yeah that's about it um just had to make a video I was so excited I didn't want to take a shower I didn't want to get you know cozy for the rest of the night I just was like you know what boom I'm excited this is my Christmas present to myself for these cards so I'm gonna make a video and hopefully other people are excited for me but um yeah so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't even know if I'm gonna ever play Silver Tower as it's intended um, I'll read the rules and if I like the rules I'll probably make tiles because I just don't like the tiles I'll be honest I I do not like the Silver Tower tiles like if you want to send me postage I will send them to you for free because I don't care about them because they're that crap to me but what I will do is make tiles my own my own tiles and play the game on those and those will just look like dungeon tiles because <sighs> that's how I'd roll um yeah and maybe even uh you guys might remember that Dungeons and Dragons had a tile set they did a whole bunch of them they did a wilderness a city they did all these sets and I've got a ton of those because those were like top notch and uh yeah that was another thing I picked up a bunch of because uh they're rad they're awesome tiles especially like the sewer stuff and the dungeon stuff it was just this is what dungeon crawls are all about um sorry zinch tower and even the hammer hall stuff um i didn't even talk about that but the hammer hall tiles they're cool there's some of them in there that are great i'm just like oh i wish the whole set was like this but they're not and that's fine i mean there's there's still some stuff in there that are just kind of like yeah Eh, I don't really, you know, it's weird. It's weird because as much as I love the stories for Age of Sigmar, as much as I love the ideas and some of the pictures, um, when it comes down to at least what I feel like a dungeon crawl should be, it just, it's just, um, it's about being in a dungeon, not being in some crazy, you know, super gaudy decked out hallway of I don't know it just I, I want dripping water the smell of mold and rats running along the floor and you're lighting torches and you know cobwebs kind of Indiana Jones stuff I don't want like crazy such shiny weird pinwheel stuff that's like you know it's not acid tower acid trip tower it's silver tower yeah it just seems like a crazy crazy way too much for me so I don't know that's it I'm just gonna keep rambling on about it and I don't really want to do that because I don't want to bore you and my god we're already on 28 minutes I don't even know how I do that I don't even know how that's possible because I don't feel like I've been talking for 29 minutes now but I do apparently and um you know that's just it so if you have any questions about measurements of the cards or anything like that go ahead and ask me them and I can respond to them if that's not like a, a rule like you want me to post all 43 card rules I don't think I can do that I think that's like illegal and I'm sure there's plenty of websites or places that you can find that information I'm not advocating that because I have stocking games workshop but you know definitely uh, I get it you know the poor man's gamer tactic and uh, I was there once too I get it but um, yeah I mean if you just have simple questions about stuff um, so excited Merry Christmas to me 
and to me, a good night.